Joining us in the studio is Wayne Flower from the Daily Mail. Um, mate, you promised me last year you'd come in and we'd do a bit of a review on 2020 and what you made of it and how it's stacked up in the, in the years, um, uh, the last decade, I suppose. Was it a particularly violent year? Was it a particularly frustrating year? Uh, or was it one of those years where people were so terrified to do anything that it was, you know, uh, on the low scale? What did you make of 2020? Well, I think it was a bit of both in regards to violence and frustration, um, George. Uh, as we know, we were in lockdown for... We were supposedly a, in lockdown. A, we were supposedly in lockdown for a majority uh, of the year, but when we weren't in lockdown, um, there was a fair amount of carnage going on out there, um, particularly murders. They, they started very early on in, in January. Yep. Uh, High-profile gangster Nabil Magni was... Um, blown away. Um, still no, um, they haven't caught the person who killed him, so that's an unsolved mystery. Yep. And it went on pretty much through January with more murders, uh, particularly some horrific violent, violence against women um, went all through the year, um, right up to almost Christmas with, of course, the, the, the alleged murder of Celeste Mano, who was had a stalker, um, and it shocked. Yeah, it did. It, it shocked a great number of people because, again, it's uh, my understanding is that uh, he was out on bail. Have yeah. we not learned yet? I mean, we've, you've been across this for the last half a dozen years. We've had a number of uh, guys uh, supposedly on bail, supposedly meant to check in with their... Uh, with their, 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 their police station and uh, time and time again, we've seen them step out and mm. do the wrong thing. Well, what is going on? And are we going to learn from the mistakes of the past? Well, COVID made it even more difficult for police to keep an eye on these people, um, believe it or not, because because of the, the pandemic, people who were on bail were not having to physically check into the police stations a lot of the time. You know, they just call in and say, yep, I'm." I'm about, and you had to take their word for it because we couldn't spread the virus. So that's what's been going on. This gentleman, um, my understanding is there were some breaches of the intervention order out against him. Um, as we know, uh, offenders breach intervention orders time and time again, and judges will, magistrates will release them and they have their reasons for that. And they'll say that they're fair and just reasons and the media exaggerate and we give everyone jail and icy showers, so... And what's, what's been uh, very much in the news, I dare say, has been um, the arrival of all the international tennis players from around the world. Has yeah. that kept you busy moving from one end of the city to the other oh. to monitor their movements? Uh, well, I, I've been fortunate in that I haven't had to go and sit outside their hotel rooms like I did out at Flemington during the, the virus last year, but um, I've seen the, the photographs of them working out in their hotels and the, the tweets and social media posts. I mean, they're making the job easy in, in far as reporting goes. I'm, I'm, I'm led to believe that one of the young women uh, who's made quite a, a bit of a name for herself over the last uh, week or so with some of her commentary um, is apparently a V-blogger um, who clearly is very happy to promote her brand and her face because it, gives, it means uh, more influence for her. It's well, a crazy new world. We've, uh, we've yeah. created for ourselves. It's an age-old saying, though, isn't it? That no press is, is bad press, so it's it's working well for some people out there. But yeah, well, I mean, we we watch to see what happens there, the Australian Open. So, what's been the big story for you over the last couple of weeks? Oh well, there's been more murder and mayhem, really, and and and, and tragic deaths. We had a house fire out of Glen Waverley the other day, which I was out at, and. Yeah. Is this the one that's all the three people lose yeah, their lives? Yeah, yeah, a, a young mum um, and her ch children uh, died huddled in, in the bathroom, their father um, horribly burnt. Um, of course, everyone was sort of wondering whether he had anything to do with it. The police have Not completely cleared him. And, and before we, we as Melbournians could even get over that, uh, we, we had the, the murder out at Tullamarine of um, murder-suicide of, of Quite shocking. three Quite shocking. small children. and outpouring of um, motion from uh, you know the people I was there the other day and flowers and, and everywhere. And the father is nonplus, doesn't understand how it's possibly happened and yeah. how it could happen. 
I mean, yeah, I assume so. He's not out there talking to anybody, no. and, and who could blame him? No, he's he, apparently in the care of, of family members. Um, he's not speaking to anyone. Uh, I guess we, we wait to see. The No doubt there'll be some funerals coming up for that one, and I know there'll be some interest in that. So it's going to be a, a, some sad, sad funerals. Oh, those. absolutely. There's no doubt about that. Uh, nothing worse than seeing little coffins oh. lined up I can remember vis- visiting um, or participating in a, in a funeral a long, long, long time ago, and the sight of this lone, small, white coffin, uh, it, it still, it still, it still um, makes an impact all these years later. Yeah, I've seen, yeah. seen many of them. Of course, yesterday would, would mark the, the 2017 anniversary of the Burke Street Rampage, which was, uh, you know... It's a, three years. It was a day a lot like what it is today in Melbourne. Bright, sunny Melbourne day and, and all hell broke loose. So, you know, I, I personally won't forget that day. I was, I was in the Galleria getting yeah. a uh, sweet and sour pork. And huh. when I stepped out on the corner of um, Elizabeth and Burke Street, there was bodies everywhere. And I thought, what has happened here? And did you, how long did it take you to grasp what indeed had gone on? Well, it's, it's, as you'll see in courts, it's hard to, to really tell how long. You, it feels like it takes forever. Totally, but I remember yeah. just sitting there thinking, what's happened here? Is this, a, is this a gas leak? Why are they... It was fairly calm. There wasn't people running around that I could see. Yeah. There were some people trying to help these people right yeah. in front of me in Shop front of the Galleria. When people see something that doesn't fit into their normal day, they struggle to process it. And I think a great number of people are still who were there are struggling to process it. Oh, uh, I was okay. at the tennis. Uh, it's, it was the old high sense, which is now the John Kane Arena. Uh, I noticed the government has uh, anointed one of the great uh, Labor men of the past. Yes. And, uh, you know, he, I think he had a huge hand in getting the tennis precinct up and running. Yeah. So uh, a, worthy, a worthy name on uh, a grand bit of sporting uh, theatre. Yes. So we were there and we heard the news that some crazy had gone into Burke Street and had driven a car and you know, hurt so many, many people. Awful it, stuff. It really did change, people say this and it's a bit of a cliche, it really did change Melbourne and the way people even walk down the streets now, or down Burke Street, people stick to, to, to the sides and You've there's, there's bollards to, everywhere now. Say, and, and The bollard. Mm. Yeah. We didn't know what bollards were before no, that day. No. We do now. So, yeah, horrible day. All right, mate. Uh, if you, people want to know any more about what's been happening in Melbourne uh, and indeed around the city of, uh, of Melbourne, make sure you catch up with the latest uh, version of the Daily Mail. Uh, the man who's writing most of the stuff that uh, you'll be reading about is Wayne Flower, who joins us on The Informer. Thank you, mate. Thanks, George.